and gives Slovo a little pat on the behind and says, come on, Slovo, let's go. And the teams are down on the pitch. The referee, Gino DiPolito, all set to go. And now, with the play-by-play, -play, here's my partner, Bill Hazen. Jim Denver will have the opening kickoff moving right to left in the first period. The steamers will go the other way. And Adrian Brooks takes the opening kick, sends it off the boards to the left side. Tim Walters down there battling, gets it over to Brooks on the near wing, centers it right through the crease, untouched and over along the far wing boards, where it is played by Ralph Black over there. Black double team, the ball stripped away. Brooks, a one quick two pass to the corner of the box, chipped outside. Here's a left footed shot, misses wide to the left, headed down by Walters, tries for a follow up, and Joey Clark comes in hard, bruising him from the side to deny him a good opportunity on goal. It'll be a free kick for Denver. Walters was fouled. So it'll come from the near wing side, just to the right of. Goalkeeper Slobo Ilyevsky, it's a direct black to the far side, and Brooks just missed an opportunity there to flick it in as Slobo was beaten to the far post. Denver still on the attack. The Steamers have yet to really touch the ball. Here's Brooks now. Now it's taken away. Cacciatore has it, sends it into the midfield for Don Ebert. Ebert has the ball. He'll pass back. Up the field come the Steamers. Here's Mikowski coming in from the far wing. Left footed shot is blocked inside the box. Cacciatore comes down with it, blasts it off the board, and right back screened away to the keeper. And Allie Anderson comes up with it in goal tonight for Denver. The Steamers are starting Keo in the midfield. And uh, the defenders are uh, Mikowski. Well, Mikowski and Keo are the defenders. Let's put it that way. They've changed things around a little bit here this evening. Cacciatore, Ebert, and uh, Steve Petcher. Steve Petcher. Well, Petcher not up front, but uh, Petcher in the back, so you have Keo in the midfield. We have a foul here. Here are the defenders up front. It's Ebert and Cacciatore in the midfield is Ty Keo. Those are the starting five for the Steamers. Meantime, it is Brooks and Walters up front, at least starting here. We do have some changing on the fly. Marcello Curie is now in the lineup for Denver. A ball sent inside the box for Slobo, who sends a left-footer pass up the near wing and a cross-field pass on the far side. Here's Petcher in his own zone. Petcher, left-footed pass back to Keo. Those two play catch. Lateral advance to the defensive red line for Mikowski. Now it's sent up in the midfield, and Ebert has it at his own red line. Brooks trying to get the ball from the side. Here's Ebert. Oh, he skips around one defender. Still has the ball. And a great move going down the far wing. Looks for a chance to center. Bounces it off the board. Turns it. Goes through the penalty arc near side with a pass. Petcher can't quite get there, but Cacciatore is there. Loses the ball. And Denver comes up with it. Now Cacciatore and Rich Werdock going after it. Boy, there's a battle of the little guys. Werdock is uh, five feet seven, and Cacciatore is five feet four. Now the ball set up field. Marcello Curie, is, or let me see, on the far side was Ralph Flack who took it. Here's a deflected pass going right through the uh, corner of the box, untouched, and held in the zone on a pass by Tom Murray. Now set right in front, it's loose. Albuquerque had a chance. Goal! Goal! He parried it out in front, and then there was a big tangle of bodies in there, and Werdock drove home the first goal of the game. Well, it was a tough break for the uh, St. Louis Steamers. If, uh, however, if the ball would have been properly cleared out of the uh, at penalty area, Rich Wardock wouldn't have had the chance. Here's the call. Rich Wardock scoring for the Denver Avalanche, and they take the lead now at one to nothing. And a big here crowd here at the uh, Checkerdome, of course, uh, will probably have to sit on their hands for a while. And now. Try to bring up the uh, St. Louis Steamers to get back in this game. They trail it one to nothing. Ball played over the halfway line. The assist went to Albuquerque on the goal. Wardock with Albuquerque on the assist. He had a shot at it and couldn't really put it away. Got it over to Wardock and Wardock drilled it in on the far post. Upfield come the Steamers, or comes Denver rather, with Kelvin Norman over the halfway line. Here's a ball sent all the way around the boards, and Slobo takes it. Pulls a pass up the far wing side. It is taken in his own zone by John Stremlaw. Tries to send it ahead. Here's Bick on the run near side, inside the red line with a two-on-two, but Sammy had trouble controlling the bouncing ball. Bick inside the box. Here's Hayes trying to get turned around. Flicks it to Bick on the near side. And with a heel effort, he keeps it away from a hard-charging defender. Here's Tony Glavin on for the first time. His shot deflected in traffic. Off of the far wing board, a clearing pass knocked down by Stremlow. Looks for a target, gets around Ralph Black, sends it in front, here's the shot by Beck with the left foot, no! A follow in front is saved by Ellie Anderson. As he got on top of that one and was able to pull it into his midsection before any damage could be done. Outlet pass far wing, Charlie Carey inside the red line, he's marked there by Carl Rose who gets it away in a great effort. What a great effort by Carl Rose, screens the ball away and plays it to Tony Glavin. Right near the MISL logo, sends it upfield over the halfway line to Mikowski. Has an open man, Keo. Johnny Hayes on the far side. Here's Hayes now marked up quickly as Cohen comes back to get him. It goes to Glavin. 
Bounces out the far wing board, and Hayes has it. Corner of the box it goes. Here is Makowski trying to cut. It's healed in by a defender, and Makowski leaps over the top of the goalkeeper after Neil Cohen sent the ball to Allie Anderson, and Makowski almost got there in time, but not quite close enough. Now we have a foul, or a ball. It actually... But Denver still has the lead. Steamers will have a free kick. It comes from the near side. Keo sends it inside the red line on the near side, and right against the boards, a battle is on for it. Here is Glavin. Whoop, battle in the midfield. Brooks and uh, Keo, but the Steamers kept it. Here's Petcher now sending it inside the red line, and he and Tim Walters got into a little... <laughs> Lizer, Ty Keo set it up in front, and John Hayes throws it home for the tying goal. Johnny Hayes with his fifth goal of the year, tenth point of the year. The score coming at 4:15. Of the... Assisted by number 10, Ty Keo. Time the goal, 4:15. Johnny Hayes. Hayes Johnny Hayes now has. Uh, Two assists and three goals in his last three games, including this one. So Johnny Hayes is coming on strong. Steamers have the ball in their own end after they kick off to restart play. Here's Keo sends it up the midfield. Walters is there to cut it down. Here's Tim trying to get turned around and catch it. Torrey comes in front of him, steals the ball. Pitcher has it up the far wing at the halfway line. Through the semicircle, passes to Mikowski off the far wing board. Pitcher is there. Adrian Brooks tries to tie him up. It's volleyed away and knocked up. We're tied at one. Here is Mikowski. Looking for the free kick opportunity. Sends it back to the red line on the free kick, and John Stremlow has it. He lofts the ball off of the board. Can Ebert get turned around? Nope, this one took a bad bounce and bounced too far, and Denver comes up with it. Here is Tom Murray. Murray to Walters trying to get to the ball. He screened away from it. The ball bounced off of Walters' chest. He was trying to control it. It got too far out in front of him. Steamers have it back. At the red line, here's Stremlow. Drops it for... Ketchatori now outside the zone, Makowski at the halfway line. Makowski with Walters marking him loosely. Here's Marcella Curie back on the field now, and he'll be picked up by Rose. Steamers on the attack. Pass inside the red line, Ketchatori deflected away by Adrian Brooks. Here is Curie, and he's fouled from behind. And, and Jeff, that time, it, from our vantage point, it looks as though possibly the Avalanche player had committed the foul, but it goes against St. Louis, and here's Denver. Free kick inside the red line is flicked toward the goal, but misses. Curie hit the uh, glass to the right of Slobo Ilyevsky, and it was taken down by Slobo on the fly. Uh, at one nothing, but we can't say that tonight, but let's hope the steamers go on and put another one under their belt here tonight against Denver. Free kick. Ball knocked inside the red line off of the near wing board. Good screening effort by Sam Bick. Gets the ball away from a Denver player. It was Peter Horvath over there trying to get to it. Steamers have it. Stremlau. Under some pressure, passes to the far wing side, and Ebert takes it off of the board over there. Goes up toward midfield, turns around at his own red line, forced toward the midfield, drops it back to Stremlau at his own red line. Almost collides with Rose, passes to Ketchatori. Straight ahead, advance from Stremlau now, goes inside the red line to Ebert on the far wing side. Ebert with Miller on him. Passes to Ketchatori, cutting right, fires a shot deflected by Brooks, and picked up by Curie, who goes over toward the far wing side. Ketchatori steals, but it's taken by Kelvin Norman. Denver having trouble clearing it. The Steamers putting on pressure, and Rose gets the ball away. But in the process, did he commit a foul, or was he fouled? He was fouled there. He was by Kelvin Norman. Free kick. Rose will take it. Sends it in corner of the box. Ebert tried to flick it back for Ketchatori. Deflected away and knocked away. Horvath comes up with it on the far wing side. And Peter Horvath goes down. Leon, says the official. Ball bounces inside the red line. Here is Ebert under heavy pressure. See who has Donna Ebert, who is now the leading goal scorer for the Steamers tonight. Gatchatori goes over to Bick, near side off the board. Ebert has it. Ebert, I believe that's Gordon Miller on him, and he is a bruiser. Here's Albuquerque, or make it to Adrian Brooks with a steal. And Brooks into the midfield. Gatchatori coming over from the side. Brooks still in control. Adrian Brooks, tremendous ball handling skills for a big guy at 6-1. Here's the ball inside the red line, and it is knocked away. But Albuquerque comes up with it. Here he is inside the red line. He has Norman on his right. Fires a shot and send. It goes up over the glass. And we'll... Ty 
high score. One. Bill, on the goal by the St. Louis Steamers tonight, Hayes, the assist to Keogh. That's his 20th on the year. The team record is 27. All right, here's Petcher after the free kick. Fires a shot off the left board, and Ellie Anderson plays the rebound right near the MISL logo to his right. Passes up the far wing, and Albuquerque has it. Straight ahead advance. Out of the range. Slobo out of the goal. Way out of goal, and knocked the ball up into the... Cohen inside the steamer end, sends it off the board. It goes over toward Charlie Carey now, who's on for the first time tonight. Carey, eye off the board, deflected in front. Albuquerque, oh, and Carey just missed a chance for a volley from the far wing side. Ball knocked out of trouble, and Cohen sends it all the way back inside his own goalkeeper's box. Allie Anderson with a pass up into the midfield. Oh, Petra went down, and Denver comes up with the ball. Petcher tried to grab Carey from the side. Now Petcher goes down again, and a foul is called. And Petcher gets up. With a gesture of just the free kick, left foot, it's sent in toward the goal, and Allie Anderson reaches way up into the air, leaps up into the air, and spears that ball. Sends a pass bouncing up the far wing, and now we have a holding. Call a pause. St. Louis Steamer Soccer will continue with the score tied at one. <laughs> Carrying two minutes, holding. Steamers on the power play. Here's a pass inside the box. Mikowski flicks one off the top of the glass. It bounces out. Keo with a full header over to the far side. An outstep pass goes through the top of the penalty arc untouched by Ebert. There was nobody there to put it away, and Denver has it on the counterattack. Here's Wardock, and oh, he somersaults through the air as he got tied up with Mikowski. The Steamers get it again. Minute 20 on the power play. Here's Keo. Pass to the far wing side. Mikowski over there. Glavin on the near side. Goes to Ebert down low. Far wing. Sends it in front. Parried away by the keeper. Who punched it with both hands. A full volley shot taken by Mikowski. Is knocked up into the air. Deflected in traffic. And Keo gets it at the halfway line. Keo to the near wing side. Glavin brings it in. Cutting to the right. Passes to Johnny Hayes. Bounces it off in front. And it's uh, poked away. Poked away in heavy traffic. Bounced up into the midfield. 54 seconds on the penalty. Here is Ebert on the far wing side. Above the penalty arc, passes near side, Glavin. Fakes a cut toward the left, fires a left footed shot and it hit off of Neil Cohen. Bounced over to the far wing side. Glavin with a tremendously powerful shot with his opposite foot. Here's Glavin cutting left. Left footed shot again, deflected off the near wing board. Johnny Hayes trying to get to it and Neil Cohen stuck a foot in there to get it away and knock it out of trouble. 30 seconds on the penalty as Keogh comes back in. Here's a deflected pass in front. Keogh set it up. And a little healing effort on the goal is taken in by the keeper as Ebert took the shot. And Anderson made the save. 15 seconds on the penalty. Keogh brings it back in after a clearing pass. Glavin cutting to the right. Shot off the board. No, and the rebound bounces above the penalty arc. It goes to Ebert down low. Pass. Ebert knocks it off of the MISL logo. And nobody home to put it away. Two seconds on the penalty. And Glavin knocks it into the midfield. And the teams are at equal strength as Carey comes back onto the field to play. Pass off the near wing board. Here is Ebert. Steamer's on the attack. Ebert trying to get turned around. And Cohen is on him tight. Ebert bounces the ball toward the keeper. It's poked away by Anderson. Still loose. And Cohen is there to screen it away. Now trying to get to the ball is Anderson. It's knocked off the near wing board. The battle's on. And stolen away. Mikowski comes up with it above the penalty arc. Couldn't quite control it. And Johnny Hayes is there to play it off the far wing board. Down goes Hayes. And the ball is loose, and Neil Cohen comes up with it, and Cohen now, as he and Donnie Ebert get into a bear, I can, oh, what an elbow thrown by Neil Cohen in there, and he almost hit Don Ebert in the head. And now here is Ebert pushing Ali Anderson. Don Ebert trying to uh, win the corner and dig it out, and I, I wanted to compliment the St. Louis Steamers because after their power play effort, the man advantage the situation, they could not camp it. Things got a little bit out of hand there, and Gino DiPolito, I think it was uh, wise to go ahead and put him in the sin bin for a couple minutes. Let's listen if we can here. Ebert, two minutes each for unsportsmanlike conduct. Time of the penalty, 10-33. Ebert Cohen. and Cohen. Ebert and Cohen both in the box. And they'll drop the ball to start play again. And the ball is won by Denver's Albuquerque, but not cleared out. Here's Rose with it. Rose four on four. Both teams a man short. Past the corner of the box. Catch it, Torrey. Could not do anything with it. Drops it under pressure. And Bick goes over and gets it off the far wing board. Two catch. Loses the ball in the midfield. And Denver comes up with it in the person of Tim Walters. Back inside his own end to Kelvin Norman. Norman has Adrian Brooks on his left. 
Brooks is at a defensive position right now. Here's a long pass toward the corner of the box, and Walters couldn't get to this one. It's volleyed out by Slobo, and it's stolen away. Stolen away is misplayed by Joey Clark. Pass toward the near wing side to Brooks. He lost it in off the far wing board. Walters is there, tries to blast it in front. Albuquerque with a rebound corner to the box, and it's taken off of his foot. Taken off his foot by Sam Bick. Now in the midfield, here's Sammy. He has a player on his right. Stremla, or Halser rather, if he can get their corner of the box, pass in front, and it's knocked away as Denver backpedaling was able to cover it up. Here's Halser on the near wing side. Looks for a chip shot. Passes Cacciatore, a shot. Just missed the left post. The foul off by Bick. Saved off the line. Saved off the line by Tim Walters on a great save. Denver got a great play there, and now we have a foul. It was Anderson. I thought it was Anderson who got the hand out there. Nonetheless, a, a terrific play by the Avalanche defense, and we remain tied. Two-man wall strung up to the right of goalkeeper Ali Anderson toward the far side. Free kick, Hulser. It goes out. Here's a shot by Joey Clark, or Sam Bick is deflected away and into the midfield it goes. And Slobo, all the way up to the halfway line, tees it up for Rose. Rose, Charlie Carey comes back on for Denver. Cacciatore's back on for the Steamers now as they substitute on the fly. Here's Bick inside the red line. Kyle Rose gets it. Ooh, leaping through the air. Bounces it high off the board. Now it's cleared up. Be with us for that. Here is Petcher on the free kick. 30 seconds on both penalties. Mikowski and Petcher in the back. Halser and Cacciatore up front. Here's Catch. The ball almost taken away. Or Mikowski, rather. And coming up with it is Duncan McEwen is on for his first ship. Adrian Brooks. Sends a pass toward the far wing side, and Petcher with a beautiful effort got it away. Petcher coming up through traffic, two on two, cutting the left shot. Ellie Anderson parries it away on a great save. He robbed Petcher of a goal with six seconds on the penalty. Here's Denver on the counter attack, and oh, going down is Charlie Carey. Hosser bumped him from the side. And Albuquerque with it, pass near side for Brooks. He has a winds up, fires inside the box, deflected away by Petcher, and in the midfield, the battle's on for the ball. Denver has it. Here's Albuquerque. Minute 50 on the penalty. Two players come back on the field now as the first set of penalties ends. Steamers have the power play for a minute 43. Here's Brooks now on the near wing side. He fires the shot inside the box, and Petcher again takes it belt high. Is able to trap it, sends it ahead. Here is Joey Clark coming up the far wing side. Clark. And Albuquerque go crashing into the far wing boards. Clark spins and gets the ball out of there. Coming back is Ralph Black to take it for Denver. Chips it over to Albuquerque. And Denver will try to kill off some of this penalty. Tony Glavin is in there. Joey Clark is in there. Mikowski and Petcher. And uh, those are the four on for the Steamers who are shorthanded against Denver right now. Oh, I may have gotten re reversed early. Here's Brooks, fires a shot on goal. Perry down by Slobo. Beautiful save, but he lost the ball. And Carey. He had the ball trapped against the, the MISL logo there, and it dropped it down, and Carey took it right off and put it with one movement right in the back against the Carey, assisted by number 16, Adrian Brooks. Time of the goal, 13-28. Carey from Brooks. So Denver leads it 2-1 to one after that goal, and I may have said it backwards earlier if I did please forgive me that the steamers were on the power play it was actually in reverse Denver obviously was on the power play and so behind the halfway line here's Rose as uh, it was Larry Hulser who had gone in the box and uh, sure enough Denver scored on what turned out to be just a misplay situation and Denver was there to put it away here is Tony Glavin off the far wing board Bick the ball tackled away by Horvath up in the midfield, stolen away. Here's Bick, lays it out off the far wing board. Tony Glavin tries to send it in front with the left foot. It's knocked away by Neil Cohen. Here's Cohen and Glavin coming in from the far wing side, and Cohen kind of throws his shoulder in to keep him away from the ball. Now the battle's on for it on the near side. Here's Tony stolen away. Johnny Hayes inside the red line, near wing side, and Neil Cohen on him tightly. Here's a tackle ball by Werdick. Oh, a tremendous collision. It's Johnny young Johnny Hayes, as you would call it. He made the steal almost in front of the Denver box and went along the near boards and great ball handling skills. And he Good uh, minute and a half or so in the next period. Free kick, knocked toward the corner of the box, cleared in the midfield. Slobo, he almost lost the ball! Slobo almost lost it! Walters came in charging and almost got it away from him and that was almost a goal. Now here's Keo inside the red line. Well, I tell you, rarely have I seen Slobo have so much trouble. Keo at the red line. I wonder if his mind is on some of those quotes of this last week. 
Keo sends it ahead, quarter of the box, and the horn sounds before Johnny Hayes. Just to Ty Keo at 415, and then Charlie Carey at 1328 gave Denver the lead of two to one as we kick off the second quarter. Second period, steamers are on the power play, and here's a shot off the board in front. Steamers moving left to uh, right to left this period, and the ball's cleared out by the Denver defense in the midfield. Steamers have it to come back. Here's Keo toward the red line. Ty coming inside, passes the near wing side. Ebert blasts it off the board in front, and Hayes just missed a chance to put it away. Volleyed off of the near wing board by. Uh, well, let's see, that was uh, Tony Glavin over there who got it. Over to Ebert, who sends it in toward the goal, and Allie Anderson covers that up quickly with his midsection as he leaped on top of that ball at the uh, just above the crease. And now here's the ball under pressure. Anderson took it the penalty killing from Denver's standpoint. They have the lead here at 2-1. to one. They rank 13th dead last in the MISL, but killing them off at only just over 51%. Here's Keo passes inside the corner of the box. Hayes fanned on a chance at a shot. Cohen tried to clear it. No, goes far side. Glavin with a wicked shot. Bends away from the goal. And Walters had it for a moment. Stuck a left foot in there, and it's finally cleared out by Denver up the far wing side. Denver on a 1-3. and three. Kelvin Norman, I believe. And he gets inside the red line before it's taken away. No, that's Marcello Curie over there. And Curie has called for a foul as uh, he tried to hold up Tony Glavin. 24 seconds. Denver killed a considerable part of the penalty right there. Here's Keo. He has Ebert on his left and Glavin on his right. To pass over on the far side to, uh, to Glavin. He fires one in front of the goal. Hey, tried to get turned around. Here's a shot as he gets it over to Ebert and it's clear. As the ball bounced off of him. And they couldn't turn it in on goal. 11 seconds on the penalty. Free kick steamers from the far wing side. Glavin short ball. It goes over to Keo, Above the box to Glavin. Pass inside the box. Nobody there. And Cohen with a great sliding effort. Knocks it out of trouble. Neil coming up. Five seconds left on the penalty. Whistle sounds. Before any time going off the clock. Substitution. Carl Rose comes in. He has yet to score a goal this year. Three seconds left on the penalty. Here's Bick over the far side. Rose blasted hard off the board in front. A volley by Ebert. They could not turn it around. It bounced to the uh, far side of the MISL logo. And it comes up to Denver. The penalty is over. The teams are at even strength. And it's 2-1. to one, The Avalanche in front. Here is Wardock coming up the near side. Bick rides him hard. The ball sent in toward the goal. And Slobo is there to pinch that one. And passes to Carl Rose. Rose coming up the far side. Challenged a little bit. Has it at the halfway line. Great pass off the board. Catches up with the ball himself. Now he's ridden off of it. He faked out his defender. But was able to knock it off of the board. Now here's the ball sent in the box. By Denver. And it's taken by Slobo on the first bounce. To Keo up at his own red line. Moves laterally toward the far side. Mark now stolen away. Stolen away. Here comes Denver. McEwen with a corner of the box. That bounces it off of the board. Almost had a chance in front for uh, Horvath against the rebound by McEwen. And McEwen right, put it right in front for Horvath. Who put Three to one. And now the steamers are going to have to get to work. They trail by two. Here's Strumlow at the red line. Brings it in. Well, this has been an odd game. Here's Beck. Loses the ball. Denver comes up with the Walters now. And Denver's starting to feel their oats. Denver toward the red line. The ball taken away. Ketchatori has a near side to Hulser. He has a man in front of him. He can get it to Sam Bick. Cannot. Hulser tackled hard. Gets it outside the zone. Pass inside to Ketchatori. Cutting toward the left. Fires a shot. And on two bounces, Ali Anderson covers it as he leaped to his left to make the save. Brooks with a pass up into the midfield. It's over the head of Curry, the target man. And Rose is there. Passes over his, off of his... The outstep side of his foot, and it is taken by Stremlow. Dumps it inside the red line. Far corner of the box to Hulser. Hulser with two men in front of him defensively for Denver. Drops it off for Beck. Sammy passes to the penalty arc to Hulser. Over toward the far corner of the box. Now here's a long shot by Rose. As he gets it about 35 feet away, that's knocked down by Adrian Brooks, who sends it in the near wing board, and it's taken by Curie in the midfield. And Curie is fouled by John Stremlow, I believe. Free kick. 3-1, Denver Avalanche on top of the St. Louis Steamers at 11.26 second period. Ball on the free kick sent inside toward the far wing board. Rose has it, knocks it away from Curie, and coming up the far wing, the Steamers have the ball. Rose gets to the back half of the semicircle on that far wing side and pulls up short of the halfway line. Now chips the ball inside the red line. Here is Hulser trying to get it, chest the ball down near side, had a chance for a moment, but couldn't quite catch up to the ball as he had Tom Murray beaten for a moment, but then Murray recovered. Here's Hulser trying to get around him again. Tries to send the ball off of the board and a foul there, I believe. As Hulser was... Was... 
challenge now for the steamers. This is the second time tonight they have the man advantage and they need a goal here. Here's Glavin on the far wing side in the attack zone to Ebert. He sends it cross field off the board to Mikowski on the near wing side. Ball taken away. Here comes Werdock up the field and he's knocked off the ball by Keo in a foul and Denver has to coming up just across the halfway line and Black takes it. Sends it off the near wing board but nobody home for Denver and Slobo comes out of goal to take it. Sends it ahead with a left foot to Keo. Keo on the near side to Mikowski at the halfway line. The Denver defense sets, digs up and sets in inside the red line. They're in a diamond zone. Pass off the far wing board. It is Ebert. Sends it to the penalty arc. A left footed shot by Keo. Bounced in to the near. Ebert back to Keo to Ebert and he beat Ali Anderson at the near post. And it's a 3 2 power play goal. Ebert from Keo. I'm not sure if that was a pass or not. Keo hit that ball. And Donnie Ebert. All right, so Saint or uh, Denver will kick off after the goal, and the Avalanche still have a three to two lead. But this game is tightened up with that goal, and the Steamers really needed it. Makowski in his own end sends it up into the midfield after Albuquerque had knocked away the pass. Now Keo has it near wing side inside the red line, coming up quickly, and Kelvin Norman coming in from the side, a bruising defender, just went right on his right shoulder and took the ball away from him, knocked it away. Here's Petcher with a pass in the midfield, stolen away. Gets it to the red line. Now holds up, passes back behind the circle to uh, Makowski. Now it's sent in toward the corner of the box, and Allie Anderson takes it on the second box inside the box, and he flips a pass out to the near side, misses a target, a header inside the red line by Makowski, and it's dropped back down. The rebound was played by the Denver Avalanche. Denver in their own end. Ball off of the board. Albuquerque was the target. It was way over lead. Slobo's out of goal on the near wing side and passes crisply up to Keel. In the midfield, Glavin at the back of the circle. Inside the red line, here's Johnny Hayes. Hayes drops it back for Petcher. Over in the near wing side, Mikowski. Over to Glavin. Outside of the red line to Keo at the back of the circle to Tony Glavin. Cutting toward the right. Knocked off the ball by Albuquerque. Stuck the foot in there nicely. Got it away on a two and three. Albuquerque inside the red line. Has Horvath to his right. Cuts toward the right. Sends it on goal and Slobo is there. A nice save as he scooped low and was able to deny him the shot on the near post. St. Louis looking sharper here now as we approach the midway mark of the second quarter with the score Denver three and St. Louis two. Albuquerque inside the red line. About 20 feet from the goal. Denver on the attack. Chips it toward the goal. He's almost flipped in by Glavin by accident as he tried to knock the ball away. Now he almost put that in the goal by accident as Slobo was covering the far post. A pushing foul called on the steamers. Free kick for Denver. And this is the MISL logo. Comes out high. Here is Norman cutting toward the right. He's knocked off the ball. Keo sprawling was able to get it away. Here's Horvath with it. Deflects it off the board. Tries to control. It goes to Norman. Near side. Bounces it in front. Horvath tried to stick it away. Tried to jam it in there. And it was saved by Slobo on a nice play. Now knocked up field and over the red line into the Denver zone it goes. But Glavin could not get there. And Neil Cohen goes back to his own box to... Uh, Get it over to Ali Anderson, and Glavin comes and stands on the keeper. Pass up the near wing at the halfway line. It is taken by Walters, and he and Bick got tangled to the Denver Avalanche lead. Here from right. the Checker Dome with Jim Holder. This is Bill Hazen. Time for me to turn over my egg timer again. On the far wing board, here's a high volley up into the midfield by Petcher, an overhead kick as he cleared it out and it went up into the stands. It'll be a free kick as Denver will. Story. Here's Albuquerque with a free kick, goes toward the corner of the box, is turned in on goal, and Slobo with a great save on the shot by Curie as he takes it in. Now a pass up the near wing, goes over the red line, it's taken by Ebert. Ebert marked tightly. Man, Denver is marking tightly tonight. They're just on a real tough man to man program. Here is. Uh, Rose inside the red line off the far wing board. Holster's over there trying to get to the ball. Deflected away from him by uh, Brooks who was over there. The ball sent out to uh, Rose on the far wing side. Just outside the red line. A pass to Stremlo who's in the middle of the field. Stremlo straight ahead advanced toward the penalty arc. Knocked down. Bick knocks it in off the near wing board. Ebert is trying to post up there. Tries to fire a shot and Ellie Anderson is there to knock it away along the near wing. Ebert keeps it alive. Tries to send a shot. A high volley goes through the crease. Untouched. Hulser couldn't put it away. It was too high for him. And now we have a fight to clear himself. And Ebert is really unhappy. He said he was elbowed. Petcher comes onto the field to try to hold Ebert away, who is furious. He is beside himself with rage. Tommy Murray has already been in the sin bin uh, once tonight. Literally right. grabbed it. It should have been a holding penalty at that point against Denver but instead Ebert is in and Denver for the second time tonight will have the man advantage and they have the lead at three to two. They were really tangled up over there weren't they. 
It'll be a free kick. Denver has it in its own end. They're on the power play. They've scored once on the power play tonight. For the Steamers, Ebert in the box for the second time tonight. Four minutes penalty of time accumulated by him and Larry Hauser as two. And uh, elbowing is the call. So now a minute 44 remaining on the penalty. Here's Albuquerque. He'll bring it in. Walters is on his right and Brooks is on his left. Those guys both have big feet. Here's Walters with a bomb. Tries to send it inside corner of the box. Brooks comes in and oh, down goes Brooks. The battle's on and Ketchatari comes up with it. Sends it up the far wing and into the midfield comes uh, Joey Clark, I believe, with the ball and he was fouled. From Joey Clark took a fall as he got tangled up in the turf over there. I can see part of the seam has come up. There was a collision and Marcello Curie is out. Well, it's a warning. It's a warning and uh, the next time uh, We'll see. I, I think they possibly, uh, Oscar Albuquerque, was arguing disqualification. The teams are both playing at equal strength. Here is a free kick taken by Slobo. It's knocked up over the 34 seconds. Yep. Here is Makowski inside the red line. Sends it toward the near wing board. Stripped away. Ketchatori headed for a moment, but I'm not going to say there wasn't a foul there. But my gosh, we seen bodies sprawling all over the place and play on. Here's Brooks now after the free kick. Brooks over the halfway line inside the attack zone to Walters. Knocked off the near wing board. Walters coming up screen from the goal. Puts it in. Pick him up and catch a Torrey who was staying with him. And Slobo came off his line and did not make a very good play. Not the type of play from your. Bounces the ball in toward the goal, and Allie Anderson with a great save. He sent it right on goal. Here's a centering pass. It's shot by Rose. Goal! Anderson throw that penalty area. Dara Rose settled it down and beat Allie Anderson at their post. Denver game, and the penalty time, 32 seconds to Ebert. A minute five to Charlie Carey as the uh, kickoff restarts play. Now here's a ball sent over three lines game with Casey Van Allen. Stay tuned to KMOX FM right after the game. Keo with a free kick, corner of the box. Here's Johnny Hayes. And under pressure, he's forced over to the far wing board. He tries to center it for Glavin, far corner of the box. He's under pressure. Passes out front to Makowski on the far wing side. Sends it inside the box. Hayes trying to get posted up. Makowski, goal! Tight! Johnny Hayes, and he was already in the penalty area. And Greg just settled it down. Let Anderson make his move. Oh, well, remember, had what appeared to be two earlier goals against Denver, which uh, he did not get. And now, in his last three games with the goal and the assist tonight, he has three goals and three assists. And boy, is Johnny Hayes coming on strong. Hmm. Just showing the great skills, Bill. Is, is he right at the top of the box? Is like the, the, your big center in basketball. And uh, to play in there, you have to you have to have the strength and the great ball skill, which uh, Johnny Hayes does. Stamers on the power play now. The first penalty is over, and Ebert is back on the floor. Here's Keona, 22 seconds on the penalty to Charlie Carey. It goes over on the far wing side. Glavin has it over there, cuts toward the right, looks for a chance. Brooks is on and marking him. As the power play is on, and a tie score. Keo on the far wing side. 10 seconds on the penalty. Mikowski winds up, whoop, chips it high up over the top of the glass. And Brad. Anderson, and very important now that he handles this correctly, he bounces it way up into the midfield. It is flicked inside the red line by Tim Walters. That will kill off the penalty. A good play by Tim. Now, the ball bounced to the near wing side. I think it went up. Did it go up over the glass? It appeared to hit the top of the glass, and they're calling the ball out of play, I think. So a free kick will be coming up. Three seconds left on the penalty. Bick has it. Sends it to the far wing side, and with that, the penalty is over. The team's at equal strength, and here comes Carey out onto the field. Quickly to Mark Stremlau. Ball inside the red line. Stremlau with a shot off the far wing board. Battles on for it. Johnny pushed a Denver defender pretty well there. I think he got away with one. Pass into the midfield, going back to his own red line to get it is Carl Rose. Of course, these teams are pushing and shoving all over the place. This is a physical match. Pass toward the near wing board. Here's Ebert trying to back in, and a good volley from the side. Got the ball away from uh, Donnie. Good play there, I believe, by Gordon Miller, who got it away. Here is Ebert, or Walters, off the near wing board inside the attack zone. Skillful effort there. And uh, Stremlock goes and tangles up with Walters on the near wing board. They get tangled up, and Rose comes out of there with it on a good play. Carl coming out of there, showing great ball handling skill as he got it away. We're under four minutes remaining in the period. We're tied at four. Second period of play from the checker dome. Here's Slobo going up the field. 
Gets to the red line on the near side, and Keogh gets it. Far side, it goes over to Carl Rose at the halfway line. Sends it ahead. Here's Musen Fector. Goal! Same situation here tonight. He settled the ball down on a forward pass right to the right of the that penalty area. Turned one way, faked it, cranked it up with that left foot, and beat Anderson. Has a goal. Ebert a goal. Rose, Mikowski, Musen Fector. Good balance. And we are waiting to see from the one of the big guns yet, Tony Glavin. Yep, and you have to figure he'll be heard from before the game is over. The Steamers have the lead now, five to four. Here's a ball played back to Keogh at his penalty arc. Sends it ahead. Here's Musen Fector midfield. Passes it ahead to Hulser. Hulser near side. It goes to Mikowski inside the red line. He has Hulser to his right. Passes over to him. He has Petrov on the far wing side and gets it to him. Back to Keogh at the front of the circle in the midfield. It goes to Musen Fector. To Hulser over the far side. Goes into the far wing board. Screened there by Curie. Knocks it back toward the red line, and it is Petcher with it. Sends it up the far wing. Keogh, he'll look for a target. Chips the ball, knocked away. Good defensive play. Denver comes up with the ball. Brooks into the midfield. But Denver playing from behind for the first time, or is it the second time in this game? I believe. No, it's the first time in this game. They've never been behind. Here's Brooks. Had a lot of goals this first half. It's 5-4. to four. Here's a header by Keogh as he won the ball back. A pass knocked down. 2.30 remaining in the period. Near side, Musen Fector. The ball stolen away by Carey, who just came on the field. Musen Fector gets it back. Top of the penalty arc. We're moving toward the left, and he's covered up very quickly. Musen Fector trying to control it. It's taken away in a tackling effort. Now knocked inside the red line by Mikowski, but there to play it is uh, Tom Murray. Murray has the ball to Adrian Brooks. Very recognizable with that curly blonde hair of his. To the red line, far side, sends it in toward the goal, but Keogh is there to knock it away. Keogh took that one about shoulder high. He's able to trap it and control it to Mikowski on the near side. Cross field to Keogh. Minute 56 remaining in the period, and our score, 5-4, to four, Steamers leading Avalanche. Now here's a ball sent in on goal. It's taken on the fly by Ali Anderson, who sends a pass up the far wing side. Battle for and Cohen has it for Denver. Midfield, here is Adrian Brooks. Brooks looking for a target, goes over to the near side, sends it ahead. Inside the red line, here is Tim Walters with it. Cutting toward the right, tries to fire a shot on goal, but it's deflected by a backpedaling Sam Beck. And the Steamers come out with it. Here's Hulser in the midfield, tackled away by Albuquerque. As Denver changing men on the fly, they have a lot of men in there. Oh, here's a ball deflected and a hit one of the Steamer players. Remember, they played last night. Little sluggish here from the midway on in, this, in the second quarter. Yeah. Now St. Louis with the lead at 5-4. to four. We'll pause. St. Louis Steamer soccer will continue with that score. 5-4 Steamers. seconds remaining in the period now. The Stamers just saved Slobo again as he went out of goal, left the goal exposed, but Rose was able with an overhead kick to clear it out of trouble as the goal was open and the ball was lying just above the crease. And Slobo also had a beautiful scissors kick there to save himself. Yeah, that's right. He sure did. Here's a ball sent in off the near wing board at the corner of the box. It is Kelvin Norman who directs it into Allie Anderson, bowls it up the near wing side. Steamers by a goal. Here is Curie at the halfway line. <laughs> now for the beginning of the third quarter. Back with Jim Holder. This is Bill Hazen. The Steamers will move left to right in Denver as the ball to kick off the third period. The ball sent inside the red line in the steamer end, but Ty Keel comes up with it. Gets it to catch a Torrey, and we are underway. Third period of play. I hope you're enjoying the broadcast here on KMOX FM St. Louis. On the far side of the field, here is Mikowski inside the red line. Steamers on the attack. Catch a Torrey on the far wing side. He's covered up quickly over there. Wordock is on him tightly. Here's a ball sent off the far wing board. Trying to spin around as Eber trying to hook it in toward the goal. Here's a shot from the far side taken by Mikowski. And that's off of the board. It hit Brooks. And Brooks gets it, sends it up the far wing side toward Marcello Curie. Curie, little heel pass, catches up with it inside the red line. Sends it in on goal. And Slobo with a leaping save. Goes to his left and covers it nicely. That's probably about Slobo's best save of the night. Well, I noticed uh, St. Louis 
was almost late in coming back out on a pitch after the second half. And I'm just wondering what Al Trost had to say to his club. They have the lead at five to four. I'll tell you what, if they get the next goal, we're not going to have a close game tonight. But yep. I just, I'm just, I would like to have heard what Al had to say. I think he said, let's settle down. Let's not get involved in any of the cheap stuff. Let's play good soccer the way that the steamers are able to do, Bill. I'll tell you this, Jim, after you predicted that Tony Bellinger would score the game winner a couple of games back, I'm not going against any predictions that you say the rest of the year. <laughs> That's uncanny. All right, pass to the far side. Here is Miller with the ball, or Murray rather, Tom Murray to the red line, and whoop, hey, misplayed the ball himself, how about that? Near side, here's Petra from Cacciatore. Petra over the halfway line, and uh, Walters comes over to get some. Walters and uh, Petra sends the ball over to the far wing side, and Ebert, or is it Mikowski, all the way back inside his own red line. Mikowski has Ebert ahead of him at the attack line, if he can get it there. Mikowski in the midfield, sends it off the near wing board, a header by Ralph Black, knocked back inside the red line, and Slobo out of box, well above the penalty arc, as he was right there to cut that pass off and get it to Rose in the midfield. Chip to the near side, Glavin chests it down. Tony on for the first time in the half. And Duncan McEwen came over to get him. Now they switch men, Glavin over on the near side. Glavin tries to send it in toward the goal, but it was uh, deflected away by Charlie Carey. The ball chested down by Rose, trying to control. We had a foul. Did we? Yes, I believe. Rose chips the ball inside the box. Hayes was the target. It's headed out by Kelvin Norman, who came from behind him. Boy, that was a nice defensive play by Norman, I thought. Here's a play top of the penalty arc. Keogh shot by Glavin, just missing the right post. Here's a header by Hayes. It hits the MISL logo to the left to goalie, Allie Anderson. Cleared out to the near side. Here is Carey. Up the near wing side, screened away from the ball. Bick to the top of the penalty arc. He gets it away, gets it to Slobo. And Slobo had trouble. He looked as if he almost caught his foot on the uh, seam on the turf. The ball almost taken away. Duncan McEwen comes up with it on the far wing side. Rose is there to steal it. And the steamers get it back. Pass to the near side in the midfield. John Strimmel out of the red line. Hayes, the ball tackled away from him. And Denver comes up with the ball at the halfway line. Here's Kelvin Norman. Gets around Hayes. Norman cutting toward the left inside the red line. Looks for a centering pass. A header goal. A fantastic goal. Bill, uh, Norman really made that play. Calvin Norman took the ball away from Johnny Hayes right at the midline and went in on the left side. He is not a great scorer, not a great shooter, but as you say, he's a very strong, pretty strong with the ball. He shot Did not the play the last time these two teams met. And Curie has his 11th goal of the year, 17th point of the year. And Norman has his seventh assist of the season, and four of those have come against the Steamers. He had a hat trick for assists last time when they met in Denver. So over half of his entire season production coming against the Steamers. Do you think Kelvin Norman doesn't like to play against St. Louis? He plays the best. I'll tell you, he's one of my favorite defenders that I like to watch. Kick for Denver in their own end. We have a tie score at five. Ball played back inside the box. Allie Anderson. Both of these keepers have had rather porous evenings. They've given up five goals each in less than three quarters of play. Well less, actually a little bit more than a half. Here's Albuquerque trying to control the ball. He dumps it into the stands by at five. There's a ball inside the box, an overhead kick cleared. Makowski cleared it and saved Slobo again. It was out of position again. Here comes uh, St. Louis inside the red line. Boy, Slobo's having just a very, very difficult evening, and the steamers are suffering along with him in the midfield. Here's Denver on the near side. Carey, it goes to Oscar Albuquerque on that near wing. Ball taken away. Petcher coming up the near wing. He has players to his left. Sends a bouncing shot in on goal. It was a hard shot, and Anderson... Had to parry it away and then fall on the deflection. Outlet pass coming up the near wing. Here's Horvath inside the red line, bearing down on goal. Chips it. Save. Slobo as he leaped out and covered that one with his feet. Comes up with the ball and sends a bowling pass up the near wing side. Here's Petcher on the run. Overlapped inside the red line. Petcher bearing down. Shot. Goal! Steve Petcher! Carson. Steve Petcher came back and slid on his knees in front of the Denver bench. And I think he is going to go into the penalty box for a couple of minutes. Unsportsmanlike conduct. 
bat number four, Steve Petcher. I'll wait and see what the uh, announcement from Bill McDermott is on the uh, penalty. Let's listen. Steve Petcher, two minutes for unsportsmanlike conduct. Time of the penalty, 5.05. Petcher, two minutes on sportsmanlike conduct. Denver's on the power play. Brooks has the ball inside the red line. A chipping shot in front, and Carey almost put it in with a heel. Slobo with a great save. Here's a pass toward the red line. Albuquerque has it, goes over to Brooks. Brooks on the near wing side, cross field pass to Walters, extremely dangerous with that big foot of his. Coming inside the red line, fakes, chips the ball, and for a chance, missed the left post. Here's Brooks coming over on the near side. He volleys it in front, a shot, just missed! Just missed, Kerry had a put away. Walters gets the ball on the far side, cutting left shot, saved right in front by Slobo. A flying header by Kerry, misses, and it's cleared out. Steamers able to alleviate the pressure. A minute 15 on the penalty. Here's Cacciatore. It goes to Clark. To uh, Carl Rose. Rose and Becker are the defenders. It is Cacciatore and Clark up front. A ball sent in on goal and taken on the second bounce by Ali Anderson. And with one minute remaining, the ball comes up the far wing. Denver has it. Here is Oscar Albuquerque. He plays the point man. He's in the middle. Walters on the right, Brooks on the left. Brings it inside the red line. Looks, passes far side, Brooks winds up, shot. Hit a defender in traffic. I think it hit Carl Rose. Here's a ball tackled away inside the box, and Slobo is there to play it with his right foot and now decides to pick it up. Sends a pass upfield, but out of the range of his target, Cacciatore, and Walters chases it down with 33 seconds left. Walters in the midfield now to Albuquerque. Albuquerque front of the circle, walking it in. 8.20 remaining. At a 6-5 steamer lead, third quarter. Here's a pass through the box by Walters. The near side, no. The ball is deflected away. Horvath or Duncan McKinnon. Have the best overall record and efficiency record in killing off man advantage situations, 77.8%. Here's Albuquerque stealing a ball from Joey Clark in the midfield. Ten seconds on the penalty. Denver with one more rush. Here's Walters. He's on the near side this time. Sends it cross field as the two... Uh, Guys on the wings to exchange position. Now the ball taken away. The teams are at equal strength as uh, Petra walks on the field very slowly. Here's a stolen pass. Stolen pass. Albuquerque got tied up and got the ball away from Rose. Now Rose comes in from the back. Albuquerque takes a dive. The old retaliation trick, but uh, a little uh, Albuquerque. <laughs> you're right. The Olympics with that. Here's a goal free kick coming up. to send it in on goal to the keeper. Slobo picks it up and sends a pass over the halfway line and here's Johnny Hayes or Ebert. Rather. Ebert was fouled, 7.34 remaining in the period and the steamers ahead six to five. Ball inside the red line, Ebert leaping between two defensive players. It goes outside the zone to Stremlau. Far side, dumped in the red line. Here is Hulser. The ball taken away, knocked into the midfield by Kelvin Norman, the defender, and all the way back into the steamer end where Slobo Ilyevsky is there. Out of goal, out of the box, and to the top of the penalty arc. Waiting for somebody to come up and challenge him. He can demonstrate those great foot skills that he has. In the midfield here is Makowski. Charged hard from the side by Marcello Curie. Goes back to Petcher at the red line. He sends a high pass off the far wing board. Here's Ebert there trying to get to it. The ball deflected away. And a battle's on for it as he and Gordon Miller got tangled up in a foul. And the ball played into the goal area. Bar Denver and Allie Anderson picks it up and sends a pass up the far wing side. Here's Walters niftily playing it off of the board. Far wing side gets around Petcher and sends it in toward the goal. Deflects it right in front through the top of the penalty arc untouched. And now the ball. They are such a physical team. And when you come out of playing 60 minutes against Denver, your body is going to be sore because it's very much like hockey where a team will come in and dig it into the corners and you need your forwards to go in and, and get the ball out. Or Here's those defenders. Ralph back with a free kick. It goes through the top of the box over to the far wing side. Norman there and Ty Keel. And Norman. Anderson made a great save. Free kick on the near side, and it will be Keogh to take it. After the ball was deflected away, a foul was called. Two-man wall strung up by Denver. 
Keel will take it, chips it inside the box, stolen away on a great defensive play. Beck there to the corner of the box. It's knocked up into the air and into the midfield. And oh, Keel put a high kick up into the air and he hit Charlie Carey right in the face. Oh, did Carey take a terrible, terrible shot in the face? And he comes off the field holding his jaw. Here's Keo in the near side, cutting toward the left top of the penalty arc, played to the far side. Denver's playing short-handed. A player goes down inside the box. And a foul is handed. Albuquerque, or rather Brooks, was late getting on the field. Uh, seemed to be waiting for uh, Carey to go back on. Keo will take it from the far side. He passes over far wing side. Rose right in front. Follow after a first miss. Goes through the crease untouched, and the steamers still have it. St. Louis Steamers, that time Carl Rose had a couple of shots at it. And uh, Anderson can count his blessings there that St. Louis didn't find the back again. Oh, they almost did. Here is Keo. It goes to Rose. Rose fires a bullet on goal. Wide to the left and cleared out. And the Denver Avalanche have it back the other way, trailing by a goal with five and a half minutes left in the third period. And at six to five, Carey is now back on the floor. Ball taken away. Here's Hulser. And Brooks is there. The ball knocked away. Carey comes up with it. Carey through space quickly as Rose on his left trying to get the ball away. Keo stuck a foot in there and got it away. Brooks plays the deflection off the far wing board at the red line. Left footed pass near side going up in the air is Ralph Black and it is taken away from him and chested down by Hulser after Bick battled Black for the ball. Here is Hulser at his own red line. Under five minutes remaining in a period. Steamers clinging to a one goal lead and Denver trying to challenge hard. Tony Glavin on the floor, Petcher on the floor. Ball inside the red line. Oh, down goes Keo. He got tied up in a scissors like legs wrapped around him. Here's a long shot by Petcher just inside the red line. It's deflected away by Duncan McEwen. Petcher sends it in toward the goal. Off the near wing board. Eber trying to get turned around, but this time Adrian Brooks is having no part of that and sends the ball up. Here's Walters up the near wing. Walters trying to beat two men, cutting down the near sideline under heavy pressure and uh, still controlling the balls. They try to scoop it out off the near wing board. He was double teamed and finally he... Well, uh, Denver puts the ball back in play. Alba and direct. Albuquerque free kick sends it in toward the back post and Keogh is there to cut it off and tries to send it out and Murray keeps it in with a header over on the far wing side. McEwen, it's deflected in front. It's shot by Albuquerque. A second volley, no! Goes through the box untouched. He tried to guide it over in the direction of Tim Walters on that second one. Here's Walters with a bomb, and it's deflected in front. It hit the glass above the crossbar. Centering pass for Albuquerque, corner of the box. Tries to get turned around. Keo knocks him off of the ball. Sends it off of the board. Here's John Hayes. Hayes with a two on three. He is covered hard from the side. Hayes has it in the midfield. Pass to the near side, and pitcher at the halfway line. Goes to the far side. Mikowski inside the red line. Winds up, fires, deflected. Walters goes out of play. Free kick. But Gino DiPolito says let's throw that run on goals by Rose Mikowski and Musenfechter. They've been taking the ball. On the free kick, the goal. The ball played out of play. A goal kick coming up for Denver will pause. St. Louis Steamers soccer will continue with the score. 6 5 Steamers. in the steamer zone or in their own zone with a ball. It goes to Brooks. He comes across the red line, bounces it hard inside the box and not able to get there. Marcello Curie. And so it's cleared out. The steamer's in their own end with Glavin up through space. Tony's been pretty silent tonight. Inside the red line. Pass near side for Stremlaw. It's taken away. Kelvin Norman came up in a hurry. Got the ball. Battled for by Johnny Hayes. Knocked it off the near wing board. Kelvin almost had the Rebound, but Hayes went down hard, and play on, says the official. Mikowski has it. The steamers come up with it. Rose, it is on red line. 2.34 remaining in the period. Steamers host the Cleveland Force this Sunday afternoon. A good day to bring out the family and see soccer. Check on tickets, however. Contact the Checker Dome ticket office regarding the remaining tickets for that game. Ball played inside the red line. Nobody there to get it. Denver goes back to its own goal to get it and played into the keeper, Ali Anderson, who distributes with a foot pass up the near side and it bounced into the midfield by Adrian Brooks. Here we have Mikowski trying to get to the ball. Carey almost threw an elbow into Carey. The ball knocked away. It goes inside the steamer box, but Slobo plays it on a post. Keo with a lot of space up the far wing on a great pass from Slobo. Keo inside the red line. It goes to Glavin. 
Plays it inside the box. Here's Ebert. Chips the ball on goal. A nice foot save. A great foot save by Ali Anderson. And now we have players going down on the shoe on Donnie Ebert. Here's Glavin with a shot from the free kick. It is deflected away, and Miller screens it, knocks it out of the zone into the midfield. And going back to his own red line to get it is Mikowski with a minute 38 remaining in the period. And the score, 6-5 steamers. Ball inside the red line, knocked off the near wing glass. And into the midfield, Denver comes up with it. Here is McEwen inside the red line. A hard shot, Prairie down by Slobo. Nice save there. And oh, knocked over along the far wing board. It's been an inconsistent performance by Slobo tonight, but I'll tell you, he was up to the challenge right there as he parried that ball down in front. Slobo showing the all-star form on that one. Here is Petcher on the near wing side. Passes to his own penalty arc, and it is Keogh with it. Lateral pass near side, Keogh, or Petcher rather, sends a cross field to the far side, knocked away, a woo, a high overhead effort by Albuquerque. Gets it inside the attack zone. Here's a centering pass. Inside the box, Petcher, the ball taken away by Albuquerque, knocked off the far wing or near wing board. Here's McEwen, centers it in front, and Slobo is there to play it. As he pulled the ball down before any damage could be done. Mikowski in the midfield. Albuquerque got in front of it, knocked it away. McEwen coming up, shot, and Slobo was way out of goal, made a save at the corner of the box. He sends a pass up the field. Far wing side, Ebert trying to bear down on the goal, marked by Tom Murray. Ebert goes inside the box, and Ebert frustratedly threw an elbow there. Murray was backing away from him. He didn't hit him, but Ebert claiming that he was being held. Here's Albuquerque in his own end. Sends an outstep pass in the midfield. Stolen away by Keogh is able to knock it down. Keogh at the halfway line. Sends one in on goal. The header at the crossbar. Bounces in. Deflection and a steal right at the midline. Took it over through the low goal. Sent in a long shot into Donnie. That was a great, great goal. Is second of the evening, 34th of the year. Scored by number nine, Don Eber. Time of the goal, 14.49. So that's the goal. Four seconds remaining in the period. Ball across the line. Uh, the goalkeeper in the back. Here's Brooks trying a kick, and it is deflected away. Keogh has it, but time runs out before he can get off a shot. And I want to remind you to listen to FM KMOX for details on how to enter the great FM KMOX shootout contest. It's your chance to challenge the awesome FM KMOX plywood goalkeeper and win prizes, including Coca-Cola, a trip for four to Busch Gardens in Tampa, and free steamer tickets. The next shootout will be March 12th. Listen to FM KMOX for details. Steamers move right to left in the fourth period, and Carl Rose has the ball after the kickoff to begin the fourth period in the midfield. Rose on the far side, passes ahead for Strimlau, overlap in front of him on the far wing side. Strimlau. Under some pressure, Walters comes over to get him. In the midfield, it goes to Rose. Rose uh, with a pass. It was stolen away, and Denver comes up with it. Pass inside the red line, deflected toward the corner of the box, trying to get in there to get it. It was Jello Curie, and it was knocked away by Slobo. And on the far wing boards, Adrian Brooks and Rose go in there after the ball. Rose goes down hard, and Adrian Brooks stole the ball. Adrian Brooks not too happy about that. St. Louis with the lead, Bill, at 7-5. to five. Donnie Ebert with two goals tonight, but six different players have scored. That great balance. Two players on the steamers. Donnie Ebert, 46 points. Tony Glavin with 48. But there are six players that are in the teams. Yeah, and it's interesting. Tony Glavin has been silent tonight. His scoring has not been needed yet. 14-12 remaining in the game. Here's Sam Bick. Uh, the ball stolen away, and uh, Brooks comes up with it. Boy, that was a nifty pass off the board as he keeps control. Got it away from Sam Boy Bick. And passes to the near wing side with Murray there. Now knocked into the midfield as Murray was challenged hard. And Ebert comes up with the ball inside the red line. Passes around one man. Goes in the corner. Centers it in front. And a flying header by McEwen clears it away from in front of the box. And uh, over on the far wing side, it is Cacciatore to Rose. Coming up quickly. Passes corner of the box. Rose gets a 1-2 pass back. Screened away by Charlie Carey. Here's a left footed shot by Beck. Knocked off the near wing board. And Beck and McEwen went into the boards trying to get it. A foul called on Sam Beck. We'll pause. St. Louis Steamer Soccer will continue with the score. The Steamers 7 and the Avalanche 5. to be played in the game and our score in the ball they've converted on one of three and 
I know that El Tros let's say let's make it 500 tonight. Bill coming into tonight's game the St. Louis Steamers in the match with leads with a 45.3 percent. So El Tros now would like to convert and it would be a big goal. St. Louis with the lead at 7 to 5 but they have the man advantage. Keo on the near wing side to Mikowski. Crossfield pass it is Tony Glavin over there. Passes up top Keo left footer bomb. Oh beautiful save by Ellie Anderson. A follow by Hayes is sent right in and Ellie Anderson cuts that one down. And lofts a high looping pass into the midfield that's controlled by Mikowski. First he chested it then headed it. Off the side of his head over on the far side. Keel brings it into Glavin. Long shot off of the glass wide. Hayes could not control the rebound at the top of the box. It's knocked into the midfield. And here comes the Steamers again. A minute 24 remaining on the penalty as Glavin brings it in. Cuts a pass to Keo. Straight down the center he comes. Near side Mikowski. Crossfield pass to Glavin. He sends it in toward the goal. Uh, effort to uh, clear it out of there. Misfires. Glavin with a left footed shot. Right in front. No. A little chesting pass in front by Ebert. At nine on the penalty to Neil Cohen. St. Louis with a couple of opportunities and that flurry again they have the man advantage and Denver incidentally against uh, and killing off penalties Denver is last in the league. Stamers inside the attack zone Mikowski near side fires a bomb just off of the board right in front and we have a whistle sounding again seven to five fifty six penalty uh, seconds on the penalty. Steamer soccer coming your way on KMOX FM in St. Louis. There's been something like 56 penalties tonight. <laughs> it sure <laughs> seems like it. Here's Mikowski inside the red line attacking on the near side. Mikowski to Keel. Straight down the center he comes. Pass far side. Glavin with a bomb. Whoa! Goes way up. In if you haven't been out this year to watch the best team in a major indoor soccer league, come on out out or listen to KMOX FM. And the broadcast of St. Louis and Cleveland on Sunday afternoon. Steamers on another rush. Here's Glavin. It goes to Keo up top. Shaded toward the left. Now back to Glavin. Fires a shot. This one's deflected in front. Ebert passes far side. Here's Keo with a shot. It hit the crossbar. It hit the crossbar just to the left of Ali Anderson and almost went in. What a bomb. Here's Mikowski. Back to Ebert, just inside the red line. He fires again, and this one is knocked away. Kicked out of there by the interior of the Denver defense. Here's Glavin, back to Keo again. Now the penalty's over. Teams at equal strength as Keo as, as Neil Cohen comes on the field. Here's a deflected shot in front by Glavin. No. And trying to control it is Mikowski trying to get to the ball, and he is sponsored in part by the Coca-Cola Bottling Company of St. Louis. Free kick Denver with 10.54 remaining to be played in the ball game. And Denver has two goals to make up to uh, pull themselves to a tie. In their Big 8 basketball game tonight, Missouri 58, Nebraska 53. So Missouri will play the winner of the K-State Oklahoma game. And you'll hear the broadcast here on KMOX FM tomorrow night at 7.55. That ought to be a heck of a game. Now we have a battle along the far wing side. Johnny Hayes following Tom Murray as those two went after the ball over there. And 10.32 remaining, Denver takes over the possession on the free kick. Brooks has it in his own zone. Sends it up the far wing side. It's dropped back to Brooks. Brooks is covered by Keo. Pass ahead to Marcello Curie. Tries to cut a pass toward the center. It was misplayed by Keo for a moment, and Albuquerque almost came up with the ball. But Rose got it for the steamers on the near side. He brings it up into the midfield. Albuquerque comes to get him at about the halfway line. Near side pass to Hulser. He dropped back behind the halfway line to... Carl Rose. Rose sends it ahead inside the red line. On the attack is Hulser. Hulser with it. The ball taken off of his foot by Cello Curie. Inside the box it goes to Ali Anderson. We should mention something. There's been a slight change in the rules, the MISL rules. We'll get it in a moment. Long outlet pass by Ali Anderson is sent over the glass without a stall penalty being called against him in a change in possession. That to stop what some keepers have been doing lately and just holding into the box until somebody comes up and stands on him. Now the goal kick is misplayed. Ball back inside the steamer end. The target was Musenfechter was over his head. Here's a long lead pass up the near side. Beck has some space. Sammy gets around a defender. Kelvin Norman. Now he's stapled into the far wing board. Near wing board. Down goes Norman. Down goes Beck. Foul. Called on Sam. He made a nice play down there. Sammy not the great uh, offensive threat for the St. Louis Steamers, but nonetheless he's had in enjoying uh, six goals and 12 assists, 18 points. Free kick inside the box. Allie Anderson has it. Now brings it up the field, sends it over the halfway line to the red line, stolen away in Musenfechter for the Steamers. Here's Moo. Gets it over to the far side. Bick sends it in for Musenfechter. Gets it almost right in front. The keeper goes down. There's a battle in front of the goal, and Allie Anderson just recovered. And oh, did he take up? He what? got kicked maybe right on the hand there, Jim. His right hand, Bill. He was really shaking it, and Danny went over and 
had it on the back and asked him. Musenfechter is uh, a pretty good size uh, young man at 6'1 and 170 pounds. Harry he... College on one of their fine teams. Floyd Floyd last year in Denver. Yeah, that's right. He did before coming here. So he's familiar to the Denver folks. Free kick coming up. It is ruled in favor of the steamers here after the injury attention given a direct wall lined up in front of Anderson. It's just the corner of the box. Centering pass for Hulser is knocked away and the steamers have to chase it down. Bick going back into the midfield. Backpedaling. Sends it to Slobo who comes out to help him. It goes back to Bick. Takes a look around him. Goes back to Slobo again. Slobo's unmarked. He's going to come up the field with it. Nobody to get him. Gets to the red line. Sends it up the far side. And here's Sammy. Over across the red line. The attack zone. Hulser tries to center top of the penalty arc for Musen Factory. Fires a left footed shot as deflected in traffic. And Denver comes out of there with it after Carl Rose could not play the rebound. Carey one on four. Ooh, down went Carey hard as he hit his torso. And play on, says Gino DiPolito. On the far side, Steamers with the ball. It's sent inside the box by John Strimlow to Slobo plays it with his right foot. Slobo rarely uses his hands. Now here's a play outside of the box. Slobo gets it and cuts a nice pass over to Rose, who sends it off the far wing board in the midfield for Musenfechter. Moo to the red line. And it's stolen away by Tom Murray, who sends it back to his keeper, Allie Anderson. Takes a look around. Now fires a frozen rope up the near sideline. Gets near the red line. Now we have a Denver player going down. Okay. Denver inside the attack line. Albuquerque with it. Sends it off the board in front for Horvath. Could he get there? No. And Beck with a clearing kick dumps it up into the stands. It'll be a free kick. And Neil Cohen will take it with 7.55 remaining to be played in the game. And the Steamers ahead by two at 7-5. Pass to the near wing side. Here's Horvath with it. Horvath near the corner of the box. Great tackle by Petcher as he tied him up nicely. It goes off to McEwen. Bounces a hard pass off the board. It's deflected away. Mikowski was there to play the rebound. Here's Hayes on the counterattack. Hayes. Coming up the field inside the red line as a bunch of white shirts around him and Denver finally comes up for the ball. And here's Glavin knocking it into the midfield as he came in late and stole it away. And the Steamers still have a possession. Good hustle there by Tony. Brings it inside the red line. Here's Hayes knocked off the ball. Sent in toward the goal by Glavin on a weak shot and the save made by Ali Anderson who looks to his left. Sends a pass to the far side of the field and it's bounced up to Horvath at the red line coming in. He has Petcher on his left. Horvath plays it off the far wing board. Centered right in front. Slobo. And he had to parry it down and then fall on the ball. Ralph Black was there. He would have put away the rebound. And Slobo not covered it as well as he did. Here's Mikowski at the red line. Cross field pass. One bounce. Petcher full volley. Bounces off of the board in front. And McEwen screens it. Heads the ball down to the keeper. And an outlet pass on the near side. Take it on three bounces by Keo, who sends it inside the box. Slobo has it. Slobo straight up the field. On the far wing side, his pass goes into the midfield to Petcher. Swinging kick to the near side to Keo. Keo to the red line. Sends it in toward the top of the penalty arc. Johnny Hayes is the target man there. And Cohen with a high kick almost hit Hayes in the head. We've had that happen several times here tonight. Not a deliberate kick now. And now here's the keeper. Like he's going to go strong off to his right and just lays it off nicely on the left side. Steamers run the free kick. Lavin on the near wing board getting to the ball. Centers it right in front. Can Hayes put it away? No. And we had a collision there. Hayes was forced to foul him to try to get possession of the ball back. And a timeout will be taken by Denver. We'll pause. St. Louis Steamers soccer will continue with the score. Steamers 7-5. In chips in 20 years, these kids have really earned the opportunity to play in a first-rate facility. And we agree wholeheartedly. Denver with a goal kick. The ball played up. Uh, the field and inside the steamer and Carl Rose gets the ball back for the steamers. It goes to Bick on the near side. Sends it over the halfway line. Here is Don Ebert. Ebert just outside the red line. It goes back to Sam Bick. Bick at his own red line. Cross field pass to Carl Rose. Front of the circle it goes to John Stremlow. Under some pressure. Gets it back to Rose behind the halfway line. Petcher sends the ball ahead. Bad pass. Or Rose rather. And the ball taken away. Here's Albuquerque. Played it right through the legs of Jeff Cacciatore. Well, you won't see that done too often. Albuquerque inside the red line. Looks for a target man. If he can find one down low to the goal. Albuquerque chips the ball off the near wing board. Oh, Norman went in there hard trying to. Bad wall set up. This is almost like a corner kick here, Jim. Really is, Bill. St. Louis with the lead at 7-5. 5.28 to play here in regulation time. And St. Louis needs to play that good D now. Yep. Keep Denver off the board. They passed around the word here. We'll get it in just a moment. Albuquerque, here's a pass inside the box. Goes through the box untouched. And Carey trying to get to it. And Rose came up from the side and got it away. Rose over the halfway line. 
Rose stops on a dime just outside of the red line. Now he'll bring it in slowly as Cacciatore to his right. Gets uh, around to his other players, wants them on their correct position, so he held things up. Here's Beck, sends it in, top of the penalty arc. It is chested down and controlled with a header. Cacciatore gets it on the near side. He's double team, moves toward his right. The ball taken away from him by Kelvin Norman, and Denver has it back. Here's Ebert trying to win it away. It's knocked off the near wing board, and Murray has the ball played into the keeper, Allie Anderson. We're informed tonight that if the steamers should win, they would be assured of the final the fourth and final playoff spot in the Western Division. So this is a battle to get into the playoffs for the Steamers here tonight. That is interesting. Pass across the halfway line. Cacciatore to the red line. Ball taken away and Albuquerque has it. Coming up the far side. Albuquerque plays it ahead on the near wing corner of the box. Lobo out there and he knocks it away with a foot as Brooks was bearing down trying to get to the ball. But he was slightly out of position to play that ball. Here's Brooks now. A left footed shot. Whoa, he fires a hard one. and go. Steamers on the attack. Tony Glavin ridden into the far wing board and a free kick coming up. Keo has it on the far wing side to the left of goalie Allie Anderson for Denver. 7 to 5. Steamers lead before 12 remaining. Here's a deflected pass right in front and uh, coming up. That'll be taken by Denver. And Anderson will put a foot into the ball. Sends it up into the midfield. Mikowski with a backpedaling header. Drops it inside on a nice, nice header. Drops it inside the red line. Now a battle for it. The ball. 4.03 remaining in the game. Here's Allie Anderson. The ball's rolling away. He came way out of goal to the red line, a la Slobo. And the ball was almost stolen away from him. It was deflected over a Neil Cohen. Stopped what could have been a potentially gruesome situation for Denver. In the midfield. Straight ahead advance by Gordon Miller. Stolen away by Petcher. And the Steamers have it back. Mikowski for a moment, and Brooks stole it away. Brooks over the halfway line, passes to the far wing side. Denver, here's Gordon Miller, sends one right in front. It is deflected up into the air. The target man was Brooks. He couldn't get to it, and Johnny Hayes has the ball. Or Keo rather, sends it through space in the midfield near side. Here's Johnny Hayes now. He tries to turn the ball toward his right, passes far side to Glavin. Over to Hayes again, corner of the box, and whoa, uh, almost a headbutt there as he and Kelvin Norman got... almost looked like pro wrestling there. Or Ralph Black was it. I'm sorry, Ralph Black, and he is down. Trainer Larry Franco is now off the floor. Free kick for the Steamers from the far wing side. Keo to take it. Keo looks past to Petcher. Blank, point blank shot on goal, and Anderson made the save, and down went Petcher hard. He had his legs taken out from underneath him. And Denver has the ball. Petcher is up. He's okay. Here's a shot. Weak shot in on goal, and Slobo has it. He looks. He has Petcher out on the far wing, who didn't come all the way down the floor. And he has the ball now. His feet taking out from underneath him, and he swings and takes a vicious kick at Adrian Brooks. After Petcher went down. Now, I'm not going to deny that Brooks committed a foul. I'd say he did, and Brooks will earn a well-deserved two-minute respite from the night's activities. With 2.58 remaining. Tonight, the man advantage, they are one for four. Makowski inside the red line on the near side. It goes over to the far side, and Tony Glavin over there. John uh, Strimlow is on the point of the power play right now. Ebert is above the penalty arc, and it's John Hayes down low toward the goal. Steamers, far side, Glavin fires a shot off of the logo just to the left of Allie Anderson, and it's cleared out by Denver. Denver has to try and counterattack now. And they're really pinned uh, deep. A minute 30 remaining in the game. They can't pull the goalkeeper because the Steamers have the man advantage. Here's the ball played off the near wing boards. Keo or Hayes, the ball taken away from him by Cohen, who sends it over the glass on the near wing. Played. Join Casey for the game tonight. Could win a case of Coca Cola. All for playing the Steamer Soccer Quiz after the game on FM KMOX. A minute 20 remaining on the penalty to Brooks. 2.18 on the game clock, and the score in the game, 7-5. to five, The St. Louis Steamers lead by a pair. Here's a pass toward the far side off the free kick. Lavin puts it down. Here's a little uh, centering pass. Goes above, well above the penalty area. Now it's inside the box, and a foul was called on the near side against the face. So with a minute 10 on the penalty, it'll be a free kick coming up, and Neil Cohen will take it. Well, a very ineffective uh, man advantage situation. Uh, St. Louis coming into this uh, with the lead at seven to five, and uh, this is the fifth time tonight they've had the, the man advantage, and they just haven't looked that sharp. Here's Carey gets it over to Ralph Black inside the red line, tries to fire a weak shot on goal, a rebound parried away by Slobo, but right in front, and crashing down on the goal was uh, Gordon Miller, but couldn't get to that ball. Inside the red line here's Ralph Black again, and Denver's trying to mount an attack here. He sends a weak shot off of the. 
uh, board. Looked for a centering pass there, and it was off of the board, well wide of the goal. 35 seconds remaining, and the penalty, and Slobo comes up the field, and the fans applaud. On the far side, Glavin. He sends it in toward the near corner, off of the box. Here is Hayes, gets it. Oh, he fired a hard shot off of the glass. And it is cleared out toward the far wing corner. Here's Glavin. It goes to Stremlow inside the red line. Over to Tony on the far side. Runs up. Passes around his defender. And is forced into the far wing corner over there. Tony comes up with the ball. Eight seconds on the penalty. Crossfield pass Mikowski. Down low. Ebert Mikowski coming through. Oh, he hit the post. He hit the post. The follow by Hayes is saved by the keeper Anderson. Oh, the right post. Beautiful one-two touch with Donnie Ebert in the face. Greg Mikowski working it, but face not be able to finish. Less than a minute to play now. Free kick by Anderson after covering the ball. And in the midfield, it's battle for the penalties over. Teams are at full strength for the final minute. Here's the ball stolen away. Kelvin Norman has it. He has Brooks on his left. The pass is to the right instead, and it comes up to Curie, who winds up. Fires one off the glass in front. Here's a shot. Oh, it hit the post. It was knocked away by Slobo. A follow of that centering pass by Norman wouldn't go down. Here's Hayes on a breakaway, crashing down on the goal, fires a shot, and Anderson has a save. Hayes almost had another goal. On the near wing side, it is Denver. Murray passes inside the box, 25 seconds left, and a foot pass up the middle of the field, a header by Norman off the far wing board. Curie trying to get there, it goes to Albuquerque, gets the top of the penalty arc, chip to the near side, Norman with a shot, it goes above the crease, and Attempt to chip it in by Curie, misfires. Here's Brooks, eight seconds left. Here's a shot, misses the post, a shot, misses again. Albuquerque with a shot, a flurry of shots. No, knocked away, and the steamers have it, and the game is over. A tremendous flurry of shots. 